I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. Maundy Thursday is Love One Another Thursday. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, and donate, support.higherthings.org. Your tax-deductible gift, you can give right there, keeps us a rolling. We need your gift in these dire times. We need, need, need your gift. So give today. It's all one week. Maundy Thursday, old English word, to try to capture the Latin, mandatum sum, uh, a new command. And that's from John 13, 31. Mm, 34, a new command I give to you that you love one another as I have loved you, so also you should love one another. This is the night in which Jesus was betrayed. He knows exactly who he is and what he's about. He knows why he's here. He knows what he's here for. And all of that is to save you. He is here to die on a cross for your sins and mine. His holy life for your unholy life his suffering and death, the punishment for your sins and the sins of the whole world. On this night, this most holy night, he gathered his disciples together for Passover. He, the Passover lamb, our Paschal lamb who sets us free. Whew. He knows all things are his. He knows who his dad is. He knows Everything about him, he knows he's a son of the uh, a son of God, and so he wraps himself in a in a towel like a slave, and commences to wash his disciples' feet, and then tells us to do the same. Now the Lord is not in uh, to foot washing; he's trying to make a point, and the point here is when you know who you are. When you know whose you are, you don't have to worry about being in the top spot. You can actually love others as he has loved us. You see, Jesus is God of God, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being the same stuff as the Father. All things are his. All things were made through him. He knows these things. And he commences to serve others because of who he is. You see, only when you know who's and who you are, that you're the father's only child, the father's beloved son, that you're the father's beloved son, that you are the, the children of God, can you look at others and care for others and put their needs before your own. Tonight, this night, in which we normally celebrate the Lord's Supper, but we can't, not altogether, um, because of social distancing rules, this night, this night is so important because it reminds us whose we are and what the Lord Jesus did for us. Living his life for us and dying our death. And so making us his own children, God's children, his brothers and sisters. And when you know that, then you can truly love and care for others. You can put their needs before your own. You don't have to worry about knocking them down so that you can advance. See, we think religion and faith works like running from a bear. You don't have to actually outrun the bear. You just have to outrun the other people running from the bear. So we push others down in order to escalate ourselves up so that we can look at God and go, well, at least we're not there. Them, you should let us in. But in actuality, the truth is, we're all going to be eaten by the bear of sin and death. Whether we have actual sins or whether it's just our, relig our, our original sin, sin is going to get us eventually. The only hope we have is that the bear gets Jesus. And what he does is he pushes all of us forward and he takes death and sin himself. And so saves us from it. And in so doing, he frees us to take upon other people's sins, to be the one that takes the blame, even when it's not our fault, to be the one that makes peace, even when we don't have to, to be the one that is the first to apologize, 
even though we are not completely wrong, to be the one who loves others more than we love ourselves. And then, then, because we are, free from the need to please God by what we do and don't do, because we are children of God, because we're baptized, because we're bodied and blooded, because we're clean, we can truly love others and put others first. So this Maundy Thursday, in the midst of our, our um, diaspora, in the midst of our separation from one another, look at your neighbor, look at your family, and thank God for them. Remember who you are and remember who they are. Put aside all the petty differences. Um, uh, cut them some slack because of the confinement. None of us are bringing our A game to this. We're all just, it's not, we're all just not doing well. And love them as you have been loved. Forgive them as you've been forgiven. Peace them as you have been peaced. Not to earn favor with God. You already have the favor of God. But because you have the favor of God, because you are children of God, because you are loved by God, you can wash their feet. You can forgive their sins and you can love them as he loves you. You can even forgive my bad, bad throats. A blessed Maundy Thursday, even separated from each other. A blessed Maundy Thursday to you and to your family. I'm Pastor George Borkart with my buddy Thor, and this has been another Higher Things video short.